thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor Ihe Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Fuike Christian Atolani, and I'm a pastor with Christ of Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic today is undefeatable, and the Bible passage is taken from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, from 45 to 49. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the butts of the hair and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And in verse 47 it says, Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with a sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. So it was when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone, and he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead, so that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the earth. Hallelujah. Our memory verse is from the book of Romans, chapter 8. Verse 31, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? How are reflections? Today's uh, devotional, uh, uh, actually today's guide, looks at what stopped David from being swallowed up by Goliath. What actually made David to be undefeatable? David had absolute trust in God, and this set him apart from all those around him. All of those facing Goliath knew that they did not have the strength or the skill to defeat him. It was only David who didn't look at himself. Instead, he looked at the strength of the God he served. The book of 1 Samuel in the Bible, chapter 17, verse 26, b, he said, For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? He viewed Goliath as nothing compared to the army that God has. The people couldn't see the army of God with David. To them, it was just one little shepherd boy fighting a giant, and they thought it was ridiculous. But in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 45, it says, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David knew that it was not a physical battle that he was fighting. He told Goliath that you are coming at me with physical weapons, but I have spiritual weapons. David knew that he had the name of the Lord of hosts. People these days, they use the phrase in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in prayers a lot, and sometimes you wonder, do people really understand the full impact of that name or that phrase? The book of Matthew chapter 20 verse 18 says, And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power in heaven has been given to me. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. The word power as it is used in this verse is actually translated from the Greek exousia and means power of choice, liberty of doing as one pleases, leave or permission, the power of authority, influence and of right privilege, the power of rule and government. That is the power that Jesus Christ talked about. He says, knowing this meaning then, the, that word, he says, it, it should give us a, a better idea of the power in the name of Jesus. He was talking about all authority as well. No wonder Philippians chapter 2 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things on earth and under the earth as well. So from today, please believe in the name of Jesus. And when you use the name of Jesus, know that something good is going to happen. And like David, you can actually say that name with authority and have your victory. So speak the name of Jesus over your situation today. 
and you will be undefeatable in Jesus' name. Our prayer point, say, Father, please don't let me ever suffer any kind of defeat again in Jesus' name. So shall it be for you. You will not suffer defeat again. Victory is your portion. Shine today and be blessed. Bye for now.